Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for DFib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. Come on, 100 joules. Charging amp full to 10. 100 joules. Uh Come on. Which one? The laser? That's not jewels. On the screen, please. Come on. Jules, charging up full to ten. Joules charging up full to ten. It's a hundred joules. Oh, ten. I got you. 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 Ten. Okay. Okay, now what? It is 10. It is 10. I can't see what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. There we go. Clear. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, the sync master wasn't on because the other things were on that shouldn't have been. 200 joules. Keep the amp charge to 10. I had other things on that shouldn't have been on. 200 joules. Keep the charge at 10. Let's go. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Come on, 360, hurry. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. Uh, which one is the x- this one? Yeah. Looks like 
like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Trepanation? The drill, please. Uh. Okay. I think I need that. How do we move the drill? What screen? This one? There we go. Yeah, thank you, Weasel. You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. What? Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six-month trip abor abroad with friends. Mom, Dad, your sister, Jennifer, have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. Caps lock. The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of mom and dad. Here's a there is a door to the hall. I'm sorry, I don't understand. You push through the crowd into the hallway. Hallway is a welcome is as welcoming as ever. Only this time the folks have put a great banner across the main hall, main wall. Half-finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. Stairs leading up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Same as ever. Stairs. Door to the living room. Door to the kitchen. They say all the best parties are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people and loud. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. Maybe later. <laughs> um, there is a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jin is here, smile signaling at you. You push through, apologies, apologizing over and over to get to Jennifer. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party. You tell her it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. You pour Jen a drink and one for yourself too. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. She repeats herself, asking if you are ready for your trip. You tell her yes, that you have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. <clears throat> your family have really gone out of their way to make the trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. Ugh. She's going to miss you. You are going to miss her. She walks away. Ugh. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the approving faces. There's so much to do f for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. You pour and down another drink. Anything to move the night along. 
You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in the nor in there normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskey. Ceiling to floor racks. A collector, although he does actually drink, although he does actually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. Hello? Oh. With your whiskey in your hand, you take <clears throat> you take in the room around you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. There are racks of fine wines in the door to the kitchen. You head back into the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. You stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up for, to Dad across the room. He nods and winks. Go back out into the hallway. A few bumps and laughs along the way. You make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jin, covered in blood. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. I'm sorry, I don't understand. She was the face I saw. I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer. Oh no! My headphones! No, 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 no! We did oh shit! I'm so sorry. Where is she? No! Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. Oh no, Minoru, yes, I did finish Song of Horror. Oh no, you guys. My camera's blurred. Oh no, you guys. Doors to the kitchen and living room lead from here while stairs take, can take you up. You'd love to call it a night, but Jin is waiting patiently. She's waiting patiently for that ride home you promised her. You need to tell me which room you want to go to. Maybe your keys are in the kitchen. The kitchen is busy. Way too many people crammed in here. 
but I guess it's where the food and drink are at. The guests are like a set of vultures, picking at the roast on the kitchen counter. Your dad is locking up the utility room. Uh, I'll talk here in a second, Minoru. Guests are like a set of vultures, picking at the roast upon the kitchen counter. Your dad is locking up the utility room. You need to look for them. They must be either in the kitchen or the living room. It's difficult to move around in here between all the people in the kitchen table. I'm sorry, I don't understand. You head back out into the hallway. Jen points to the living room in size as she puts on her coat. No! No! No, 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 no. The living room has much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat upon the chairs having civilized conversation. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the drinks cabinet. Coffee table, a drinks cabinet. One of the chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Drinks on coasters like proper civilized people. You can't see your keys. Um... Your mom's collection of wines and spirits. Definitely no keys in there. You need to look for them. They must be either in the kitchen or the living room. Living room has much more relaxed atmosphere. Um... Coffee table drinks, one of the chairs is overflowing with jackets. Friends in conversation, jackets and coats everywhere. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Keys in hand, you head back into the hall. Jin thanks you for helping her out. She has work in the morning and no one else is in the fit state to drive. You can handle it though. You know the road like the back of your hand, don't you? You open the front door and walk out into the freezing night. The cold air hits you. You are glad to have your jacket with you. There is a dusting of snow around. As you step down from the porch, the yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits in the front of the house. You fumble with the car handle, confused until Jin tells you maybe use the key in your hand. Fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. This is terrible. The car is freezing as you fumble around with your seatbelt. Your sister opens the car glove box and hands you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you that this is for when you return. The note is from your dad and it reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get the power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you in your room. Enjoy. Car's freezing. Oh my god. Uh. You try to turn the ignition with sheer willpower despite holding keys in your hand. It takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key into the ignition. You turn the key into the ignition and the car roars to life. I don't like this!